Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is, I say this all the time, another super exciting video. So I will be trying out the new Grimoire Book of Shadows Volume 2 from V Cosmetics. The outer sleeve kind of pops off like that. And then we have the palette and I love the whole phases of the moon. It just looks perfect. It's like a book. Obviously down the spine you've got, I say it obviously, I need to stop saying that. Down the spine it says Book of Shadows Volume 2. So it does look like a book. I love this. I love this about it. And the design is just perfect. The outer packaging, 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. I love it. And then on the inside, you've got a mirror with moon phases down the sides. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. Underneath the mirror, it says you are a powerful being. So much more than this mirror could ever show you. Oh, I love that. How did I miss that? I have no idea. I love that. And then you have this colour story, which is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So, if you would like to see how I created both of these looks and hear my first impressions on the Grimoire, Book of Shadows, Volume 2, Part 2, palette, then uh, just keep on watching. So I have primed my first eye, which is my left eye, and I am going to be going in with Neither, which is the grey. I'm not going to be using the mirror in the palette just because it's quite heavy to hold up. So I'm just going to be using my regular mirror. I have been so excited to try this palette. So excited. I love the stuff I already have from V Cosmetics. So we're going with more of a, a dark and more vampy look maybe with this side. I just want to try and use a good variety of the colours, which is why I decided to do a different look on each eye. Um, I honestly, due to being in pain all the time, wouldn't have time, wouldn't have time or the energy to do two full looks. But I figured it's kind of the next best thing because if I turn to one side, you can see it. And I have noticed that Steph of Steph's Beauty Stash, she does one on each eye, and it seems to work really well. So I am giving it another go. I went to go for the other eye then. Not a good idea, Steph. So I'm making sure I really blow this out because this is going to be kind of the transition shade on this side. I don't need to keep saying on this side because you can see it's on this eye. So just making sure it's all blended and blown out as much as possible. Well, as expected, this is performing beautifully. I primed my eye using the P. Louise Base Pro in Room 02 because I love that and I find it to be really reliable. All right, so now, oh, next. So I'm next going to go into unconditionally this blue shade here at least I think it's blue might be a bit more purple we shall see we're gonna dab a bit of that in anyway so just going into the crease with that I completely forgot to say what brushes I've been using um, for the grey um, neither. I used a Spectrum BO6. 
And then now I am using a Zoeva 231 Lux Petit Crease for unconditionally. So back to here and I just want to keep this in the crease. I'm going to build up its intensity kind of lower down and then just blend it up and into the grey. This is pretty. I keep looking at my other eye and thinking I'm missing something. Or I've forgotten to do something. Weird. Okay. So I am next going to head into Choose, which is the black. Cuppy. And I'm taking that on a Spectrum A12 and popping that right in the outer area here, bringing it onto my lid and then Forgetting. I don't have to worry about fallout because I have not done my base yet. I will go around the edge of the black with the grey to blend out, but This is looking good, just tapping it into the crease colours there, just so that there is a nice blend. This, this is looking good. Not my usual gig, but I, I have to say, I was watching Katie of Makeup for Lost Time the other day. And I remember saying to her that I've never wanted to do a black smoky eye so much. So this is was not a black smoky eye. It kind of made me feel the kind of dark vampy feels. So yeah, thank you Katie, if you're watching this. Uh, I'm just going to stamp the edge just to make sure I get the shape okay well this is a really good black a really good black it is blending beautifully beautiful and then the brush I used for the grey I'm just going to take that to kind of blend out the edges No, I don't think we need that. I'm going to just blend out with the black, I think. And then going into the kind of blue-purple unconditionally. So I haven't swatched this palette yet. I just wanted to kind of just go in with no expectations. I do have obviously some because I know and love V's formula. I'm taking the kind of blue purple and the grey. I've done a dip between both just to blend that higher and I think they mix really beautifully together. They make a really nice almost like movie grey. I'm terrible at describing colours so uh, I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> I'm just going to take this, like the blue and the purple, on the edge here. Up at 
back. That's better. Ooh. so dark and ooh. um so i'm going to dip back into the blue purple whatever it is unconditionally and i'm just going to completely re-intensify just that shade alone in the lower part of my crease and then gently feather it Oh, that is looking good. I'm just going to take some more of the black and just for this very outer edge bit here. I don't want to lose the depth of that black. Ooh, yeah, I'm loving this. So I'm going to be spraying the brush for the shimmers. So the first shimmer I'm going in with is always absolutely beautiful beautiful shade and I'm going to give that a spritz and take that part of the way kind of most of the way across this is stunning I do really like this shimmer I really like the shimmer. Look at that. This tone of blue is just so beautiful. For the inner part of my lid, I am going to go in with Darkness, which is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> shimmery silver. Wow stuff. Just wow. Silver grey. The silvery grey. Again, not good at describing colours. And I'm going to place that over the part left open. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So whilst it's not a black smoky eye as such, it's still, I'd say, a, a dark, more gothy, maybe, feel. It's pretty and just going back in with the brush for the blue and I'm just going to tap over the join there. Ooh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Right, I'm going to dip back into the black and just to kind of take away the harsh line. And then into unconditionally the blue purple, and I'm going to dab that between the two. Oh, get back in with a bit of always. Don't want to completely lose the vibrancy of that. So I'm going to quickly clean up the mess there and prime my other eye and then I'll be back to continue. So uh, stay where you are. Okay, so cleaned up, primed this eye. The first shade I am going in with is Create. And I'm going to be going in with that in my crease. And blending that and upwards i do love how ve do like the names uh if you read them across it's uh they're like sentences and this one says choose neither darkness nor light 
invite balance, create harmony, love unconditionally, always trust your intuition. I love that. I love that a lot. A lot. This colour is stunning. These are going to be two very different looks, but I'm okay with that. We're going to go with the, the balance and the trust your intuition. Now this colour is absolutely stunning. And as with all of the shades I've used so far, blending beautifully, building up beautifully, absolutely gorgeous. I think this palette used in combine with the Blood Moon, in combine? Using this palette combined with the Blood Moon palette would uh, be amazing. So yeah, if you had the both, which I fortunately do, I think they would be amazing sister palettes. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I'm next going to go into the crease with Love. And see what happens here. Where I haven't swatched any of these, wrong eye, I, uh, I don't know what to expect kind of colour pale wise either. But I'm definitely thinking this was a wise choice. Uh, just keeping it right in the crease. And just gently blending the edge into the outer shade there. I am over the moon with this palette. So over the moon. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. I've just continued to deepen, just lower down, taking it up a bit higher towards the outer area there. Going to place that slightly on the lid. It's such a beautiful colour which does, as you can see, build up beautifully. And there's no blending issues. So now going in with a bit of create the first one, I am just going to just assist that blend a little further. I am I am so loving how this is looking. And then for, for the outer part of my crease, I am going into Balance, which is the shade above Love. And I'm going to take that right in this outer area here looks to be not too much deeper yeah this one is definitely more blue but I don't mind that at all as you say I don't think I don't think I need to be going in with the black at all I think this has deepened up beautifully
and back in with create a little bit just to soften that edge okay so for the lid for the lid I'm just going to go in with harmony which is the purple shimmer and just spraying that again I'm using the makeup obsession so dope fixing spray I really love it and this is beautiful this is such a beautiful purple shimmer the the tones of these purples are just beautiful just look at that that is so pretty that is looking beautiful and just going to go back into what am i going back into i'm gonna go back into let me try love i'm going into love which is what we have in the crease i think this one is going to be the perfect yeah look at that so I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back to do the under eyes with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so here are the finished looks. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you prefer look one or look two? Let me know. Um, before we have a chat about the palette, I'm just going to let you know what else I have popped on my face. So for blush, I have the Pout and Shout Boozy Susie, and it's this absolutely beautiful purple blush. And then for highlight, I went in with the VE Cosmetics Divine Highlight, and let me open her up, she looks like this. I've still got, I don't know if you can see the indent in of the uh, moon phases, absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my absolute favourite highlighters. I love it and I had to get it out to uh, go with the palette but yeah um, so for my eyes the winged liner I used the cake it liner it's one of the duochrome cake it liners from Artitude Cosmetics this one's in the shade revolution I don't know how much you're going to pick up maybe from that side a little bit maybe um i did get this particular one in pr um i received six in pr but i already had 18 that i bought myself so you know i love them um this one is revolution it is stunning um where are we at now mascara so the mascara i went in with is the elf keep your curl mascara in my waterline, I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Teaspoon. My lashes, I will get there eventually. My lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics. They're in the style Extra. These were ones that I bought myself. Um, what else are we missing? I did want to say that the primer I went in with, the face primer, is from V Cosmetics also. This is the Witchcraft Beyond the Veil Primer. I love this. Absolutely love it. Unfortunately, I didn't get to really try out the foundation with the sample because it was completely the wrong colour for me. Um, but I'm sure I'll get there. <laughs> so the lipstick I went in with is from Cursed Cosmetics. And this is from... The Spellbook Collection is in the shade Amulet. I love it. So the Grimoire is the Book of Shadows Volume 2. This is the outer casing. So you have that side and that side. Um, it is done like a Grimoire book. So you've got the spine and down the spine it says 
Book of Shadows Volume 2. I love this packaging. It is bulkier, but I really don't mind that at all. I'm not one of these that doesn't like different palette shapes or sizes. I love them all, um, provided they're good. <laughs> so the packaging is gorgeous. And then on the back, you've got this writing here. And it says, as to the sun, as to the earth below, as to the moon and its wondrous glow, I speak the truth in this mine hour. I fill these shadows with my power. Balance is my true vocation. Fear no shadow or incantation. I love that. But yes, the inside, I will, there is a mirror. I'll try and keep that out just purely because I don't want to blind you. But this colour story here, oh my word, as soon as I saw it, I got it. It is absolutely stunning. Everything I used today was just perfect. I did forget to mention actually because I forgot to film it because I'm clever like that. Um, but under my eyes I went in with balance right up against the lash line and then I went in with your the green mattes and then I used intuition on the inner part of my lower lash line I did use the V cosmetics the divine highlight for my inner corner and brow bone highlight this is just beautiful I love all the indents in them I love the names and how it just tells a story kind of I love it I love everything about this palette I really really need to try these reds I am super excited to try those yeah absolutely love this palette another amazing one from V Cosmetics they are they are, she is, fast becoming one of my top brands. I love them. If I had one of the lipsticks that would have gone with this look, I would have worn it. But I only have um, a red and a brighter green. So I went with this one from Curse Cosmetics, which I feel went with both looks perfectly. So... My first impressions of the Grimoire, Book of Shadows Part 2, I love it. I have zero negatives whatsoever. I love it. So yeah, that's it from me for today. If you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up. That really helps me out. If you are new around here or if you're watching my videos and not subscribed already, if you like colourful makeup, supporting indie brands and want to discover some indie brands that maybe you hadn't heard of or cruelty free then uh, please do hit the subscribe button and then if you hit the notification bell youtube will notify you whenever i upload a video so that all said thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're all having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.